create um, like two variables um, a string temp and a, a double temp temp2 awesome so uh, let's go ahead and uh, display the names so that's uh, an easy operation we have our employee one object and going to get um, method uh, what what do we name this again oh we didn't specify uh, it, it's always good to specify these names so for um, the set methods uh, set first name set last name set salary value and uh, get first name uh, get last name and get salary value and same thing for the print this would be a uh, well actually I did it right here print first name said, but moving right along so this would be dot get and we can see our first name here pop up on our ID so get the first name and of course it's a void function so we don't have to put anything further so and uh, let's store that in temp go ahead and do that so now we can print a line uh, system dot out dot print how much time do I have left I don't know how about this I'll uh, just split it up in Windows Movie Maker and uh, screw the time well this uh, this cannot record for more than 20 minutes or so anyway so I'll have to stop it eventually so system dot out print um, employee one okay we're going to print his first name okay employee one uh, Bob Henderson's salary uh, but yeah, let's uh, put put uh, Bob H Henderson salary instead. So uh, temp. Sorry, I'm so sorry. My brain is so slow today. So it's going to print out Bob. That's what that's going to do. So to get the last name now, store it in temp. And uh, we're going to print out a space, and then uh, we're going to print out the last name. And now uh, we're going to print, uh, let's say, um, what should we say here? System dot out print. Uh, so it's going to say Bob Henderson. Since salary is, and here we can go ahead and now get the salary value. Uh, so that get salary value stored in temp. Oh, uh, temp two because it's a double now and. Uh, is and it'll display the number there and I guess we should uh, go ahead and uh, print out a new line and that's the new line character we'll just uh, print out a new line so our next thing will go to new line so uh, basically we just printed out uh, the names and uh, the salary value for employee 1 um, let's go ahead and do the same thing for employee 2 so let's just copy and paste is a beautiful thing and uh, let's see, control F within that, find, let's see, want to find um, employee object one. Oh, wait, can't do it like that. Yeah, I can't, I'll figure it out. Employee object one here, replace it with two. So, find and replace find and replace, find and replace alright, that was simple so now we have uh, this working for employee 2, it's going to print out Jack Jackson's name, $36 and now uh, we want to raise it by 10% so 
Now let's go ahead and uh, first thing we're going to do, how much time do I have left? Six minutes. We're going to get, again we're going to get the salary value. So let's get the salary value for employee one first. Start on temp two, and we're going to do to temp two because uh, what did the directions say? The directions say that we have to raise it by ten percent and display the yearly salary again. So temp two, we're going to multiply that by one point one. And if you uh, to break it down, um, uh, wh what's the general idea? Uh, we do this. Temporary 2 plus temporary 2 times 10%. That would be the, the general idea. So uh, when we convert this to a decimal, it's 0.1. And then uh, if you know about factoring, if we put parentheses here, we can take out temp 2 and we can take out this temp 2, which leaves a 1. So we have 1 plus 1 times 0.1 which is equal to 1.1 so that's where we get this expression from just in case you were wondering alright I need another double variable uh, so double temp 3 uh, I, I know I have no imagination well I mean I could have named it unicorn Sally that would have been nice alright so we've done our mathematical operation now we just have to set it again so, t -t 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 what are we going to do? A a and note that uh, in our set method, we have this if statement detecting if it's a negative value. Uh, and I, 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 we realize we don't have to do that because uh, the it will set at 0, 0.0 from the beginning. But let's say we wanted to expand this program to support uh, sticking in a new uh, salary value manually. That's where that would come in handy. So got one more minute left. So let's uh, t -t -t -t. got that. So we need to set it now. So we're going to do employee object set value. We're going to do set salary value. Okay, maybe that's not the name, was it? Dot set salary value, and it's going to be temp three. And uh, that's it. Mm, that looks uh, all scoodoodies. Awesome. So now, we just basically have to do the same thing with the other employee. Employee 2. Employee 2. Okay. And uh, that takes care of him. Oh, we never uh, put temp 3. There we go. And now we just have to print this out again. Mm, copy and paste. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, see our handiwork. And uh, hopefully we have no errors. And play as a job application or run, I should say. So Bob Bob's salary is ooh. We have an error somewhere. It's not printing out the the numeric value as it should is temp2 oh we have it temp2 but we have it never printing out good job man good job so that's easily remedied and just have to stick that here too and stick that also where else have to stick this all over the place. Ten two, ten two. Okay, uh, that should take care of it. Uh, got it on the first one here. So now it's all fixed. Bob Bob's salary is ten dollars. Jack Jack's salary is thirty six dollars. Bob Bob's salary is eleven dollars, and Jack Jack's salary is thirty nine point six. So you see, we, we did an increase in the raise. So uh, maybe we should put somewhere here, probably. Um, 
Got a print line. Salary raise. And uh, as we run it, and even put in a new line before it, just for the hell of it. So, uh, we see here, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, we got our program working. And uh, that's like the minimum you have to do. Um, don't think I have anything else to say. If I think of anything, I'll publish another video.